Welcome to my channel. Welcome back if you've been here before. I'm super excited to just get it all done with you guys today. It's actually afternoon time. My son woke up from his nap early, so he's going to be helping me with some of these um, chores that we have going on in the house today. I have some laundry to put in. I'm in my laundry room right now. Some laundry to put in the washing machine. And then the th next thing that I want to do after this so we have recently, we have this big old dresser that we used to keep in our bedroom, in the master bedroom of our home. And we have recently moved it to the living room. Sorry, Riker wanted to join. And it looks so good in there. I will show you guys a little sneak peek of what this looks like, but I'm gonna be in and out of our bedroom closet and the living room today because um, I've just been trying to figure out the best way to organize some of our like notebooks and books and extra decor and camera items and just like junk drawer type stuff into um all into like one specific spot and I think that spot's gonna be the dresser in our living room now. I have another dresser in mine and my husband's bedroom closet and we have just put all of our like t-shirts and stuff like that in that dresser because we really didn't need a whole lot of space for those items. We've kind of downsized that, reorganized some things. So I'll just show you guys once I get there kind of exactly what I'm talking about, but let's get some laundry done first. <laughs> what I'm talking about. So this dresser used to be in our guest bedroom. Sorry, I was holding Riker now I'm out of breath. So this dresser used to be in our guest bedroom and we recently wanted to move it into our closet because we've actually decluttered a ton of our clothes. It's still a work in progress. I'm trying to right now work on clothes that I love and trying to kind of create a capsule type wardrobe. That'll probably be a long time before I can finish that. So we move this into the closet because we decluttered. We also moved our safe into our closet because we turned our coat closet into a cloth office. Connor hates it when I call it that, but it's like a closet office and it's really cool. I can show you guys that as well here in a minute or I'll just show you right now. It is the coolest room. Connor, basically I sent him a Pinterest picture and he made my dreams come true for this cloth office closet office. I am absolutely in love with it. He even put electricity into the closet for me. Guys, he's not an electrician, but he works for a home builder. So he knows what he's doing. So I would not recommend that. Hire a professional if you or your husband don't know what you're doing. We put a plug into the closet so that we could have electricity in here um, for the computer and the printer. And then we've filed, boxed all of our paper items that we used to store in this dresser. We used to store papers and books and crafts that we'd never use and I've decluttered a ton of it. But the stuff that I have left in here, I really don't want it in the closet. So um, I'd rather have it in the living room, which is where I do most of my work anyways. I'm gonna move all of that so that I can get, I have like socks and underwear and undergarments and stuff that I wanna put in these drawers that I have not been able to. So that's what I want to do today. I wanna see if I can finish just transferring pretty much all of this stuff into the living room. That is my goal. But now I'm just gonna remove everything and take it to the living room. I'm gonna have to set you guys on top of countertops and just anything else I can find because I'm afraid that my son will knock over the tripod and ruin the camera because that happened with the last camera. So I'm just gonna start grabbing stuff and pulling it into the living room. Alright, so let me show you guys what I pulled out from the closet. 
it's honestly stuff that I probably still need to go through, but it's gonna feel so much better that it's all in one space that when I am ready to go through it, I can. So here is the dresser that I was talking about. Um, some of these drawers already have stuff in them. This is just extra notebooks, um, stuff for like sending cards to people, um, yarn for projects and stuff. This is pretty much the only yarn I kept out of all the craft supplies yarn that I had. Um, and then I have letter boards that those letters go to. I have some candles. I do like to reuse those for birthday parties. Um, these are just like little thank you things. Um, we also have a scrapbook and then we have some books. And then um, these are address stamps. Okay, I have some extra decor in here that I just don't know what to do with. I put my laptop in here, but this might not stay. I think the rest of these are empty. So I got three empty drawers, technically four. Sorry if you hear a crying baby in the background. I shut the door to the laundry room and he's really sad about it because he loves to watch the washing machine. So this probably needs to be gone through, but this is just extra batteries, hard drives, um, just random junk. This is stuff that I don't know if I want to keep or not. This is all of our camera equipment. It's a lot. And then this is, this is technically like junk drawer stuff that probably should be gone through eventually. We have been using it. And then I just had some batteries in there as well, but I didn't want Riker to get a hold of those. So I put the batteries here.
Okay guys, so it is several days later, but I did want to end this video by showing you guys how I kind of organize the drawers. There will be a video coming up later where I will declutter some of those drawers because right now I just was trying to get everything into a good spot. It definitely needs to be gone through, probably with Connor. I'll show you guys what we got going on. So this top drawer has all of our books. Literally, this is just kind of a random drawer. Like I said, I need to go through things, but I think I showed you guys all of this earlier. Same things in there. In here, I managed to stuff the wrapping paper. I don't know if you could see on the video, I was having the hardest time. So these might get moved eventually, but for now, I was able to just stuff the wrapping paper in there. And I do like to keep some socks and wrapping uh, tissue and stuff. I actually use this quite a bit. I don't actually like to go buy sacks. I like to see if I have what I have. I like to see what I have before I go buy a sack. I just buy white tissue paper and it's literally good for every occasion. Okay, this is our junk drawer. <laughs> like the most organized drawer of all of them is our junk drawer. Obvious things, probably stuff that I still need to go through. Pins, scissors, glue. Um, paint samples, just tons of batteries, so it's in that drawer. And then this top drawer, I don't know if I showed y'all this before, but it just has extra decor. And then this second drawer, I have both mine and Connor's laptops. We have hard drive. All this stuff is probably just junk, but it's all in this basket that was in our closet. So I have hard drives and chargers and stuff like that. This holds our iPad. I put the tripod in here, but it's out right now. And then this drawer is kind of hard to open, but it has all of like our GoPro gear. My other like nicer camera goes in that bag. GoPro gear, we have two Go GoPros, like up and then more tripods and just camera stuff. So I think that is everything for this video. Thank you guys for joining me along and organizing and just Replacing things in different spots of my house, trying to make things work better. Tip of the day for you guys, if something is not working where it is, then stop trying to make it work and make it work somewhere else or just get rid of it. For example, don't be afraid to move around your kitchen drawers if you know that the spoons and the forks are gonna work better in another drawer. 
then move them. Who cares if your family gets mad for like a week and can't find the spoon? Like just do it because you know in the long run that it's gonna function for your family better. So thank you guys so much for watching. I love you guys so much and I will see you in the next video. Bye guys.